Hi, YouTube family. Welcome into the video where I'm going to be ranking my top 10 picks for fall eyeshadow palettes. This is so fun to me because eyeshadow palettes, for one thing, is my biggest weakness where makeup is concerned. And I love being able to change up your look for the seasons and being able to look at a palette and go, yeah, this could really work for this season. So we're going to be looking at the ones that I'm picking for fall. These all, to me, every single one of them, I love. I use all the time. I recently did a really huge declutter of all of my makeup. So these are my picks of my picks that I kept that would work really good for fall. So I'm going to get right into this. If you guys have a specific palette that you love for fall, let me know if I don't mention it down below because I always love to hear you guys' recommendations. Before so we do get started though, this eye look is not from any of these because I just did a kind of get ready with me with the new Nomad palette from um, Juvia's Place, and I really like this. It gave me a really pretty smoky look, and I really like it. So if you're wondering about that, that's what I have on, and that will be up soon if it isn't up already. So my number 10 pick is the Sultry Palette. Now you can't get this anymore, but you can get this dupe in the Temptress palette right here. The Sultry palette was one that they did last year around this time, and but it has these cool tones and it has a few warm tones in there. So as far as looking at a makeup palette that can just transition you from summer into fall, this would be it. But we can't get that one anymore, but you guys really truly, when I did the side-by-side -side comparison of the Temptress from Alter Ego to the Sultry palette, you guys, this for me hands down was better than that not only because of the price point sorry i'm blinding you not only because of the price point but because i really enjoy the texture of these shadows they're every bit as creamy and buttery as the sultry palette and they're every bit as blendable and saturated i really do love this palette and i love how well they did all the color matches to the sultry palette so if you missed out on the sultry palette and you wanted to get your hands on it try this one because i don't think you're going to be disappointed and it's going to be able to create some gorgeous fall looks my number nine pick is from urban decay the born to run palette this one is still available and you can still get it but you guys look at the color selection in here i feel like Every color in here could go really well for fall. And you have beautiful transition colors, but you also have the berries, the greens. You have that black in there that is so rich and can you know darken up any look that you want to if you like that. You also have a lot of these gorgeous oranges going into the fall. Remember that even if you're not a person that likes orange eyeshadow, you can always use your orange eyeshadows lightly on your transition to brighten up any look. So if you get to the end of your eye makeup look and you're looking at it and you're not really happy with it, maybe it looks too dark, maybe it looks kind of lifeless, try a little tiny bit of a dusting of orange through your transition color and I promise you it will really do something beautiful to your look. But anyway, this is a palette that you can use year round, but honestly I feel like the colors in here are so good for fall. They're so saturated. They are deep colors but you have a lot of color variation in there too. And you wanna talk about easy to blend, easy to work with, these are your new best friend. I mean, honestly, it doesn't matter whether it's the mattes in here or whether it's the shimmer or metallic, you're gonna be able to create such beautiful looks in these. Okay, my number eight pick is from Juvia's Place, and this is the Nubian 3 Coral Palette. I am so excited about this palette because it does have the cool mixed in with the warm. This color right here, you wouldn't think it, but it is such a nice transition color. And then if you wanted to go into other transition colors, you yeah. have the ones that are like terracotta and orange, and then you have the ones that are like bright peaches. But the star of this whole palette, you guys, is really that silver right there. Oh my goodness. But every color in here, as I put my finger in here and as I'm about to swatch it, every color in there is just so buttery. I feel like Juvia's Place formula is one that is just hard to pass up for anybody. If you guys have never tried anything from Juvia's Place and you want something that is really truly kind of neutral but steps out a little bit, this would be a really good one for you. It just really inspires me when I open it and look at it. And you guys know that I'm not normally a neutral gal. I like to have a lot of pop of color in my eye looks, but the coral palette is one that I really do love. Number okay. seven is from Morphe and Jaclyn Hill. And you guys might think I'm crazy about this. I know these palettes kind of got 
they kind of got a rough start. I do know that. This one is the Dark Magic palette. And I really like this palette, you guys. And the reason I like it is because, again, we're looking at colors that, to me, really scream fall. And this one being, you know, being able to smoke out any color that you wanted to. And I know there was some colors in here when I first started working with this. And when I first started looking at it, I'm like, I don't know if I will ever use that color. But as I did get into the palette, I realized how lovely they really are. And for me, that saturation level and that blendability is there. And the different tones in here, the greens in here, the like corduroy blues in here. I just think that they're so fantastic. They're so pretty. This color right here that is like a silver metallic, it's the one that's on the top. It actually looks almost pewter. That is such a striking color to me. It's so different than anything that I have in any of my other palettes. So I really do love that one. It's one that I really do enjoy, especially during the fall when I'm going into deeper tones. Number six is another one by Alter Ego. This is the Sahara palette. This one has been very recently all over social media, but I think, and it's a dupe for Natasha Denona, one of her one of her palettes. I don't know which one. I'll make sure I throw it up on the screen. But you guys, this palette is just such good quality. Alter Ego, as they dupe these other palettes, I realize that we're gonna be seeing some really beautiful things from this new makeup line or these new makeup palettes because they have such great quality. Nice mirrors in them too, which I do appreciate. And at $16, you just can't beat that. The other thing that I love is you do have a few cool tones in here too. So you can look go to a smoky look on the cool side if you wanted to as well. Love the formulas here and their metallics are so gorgeous. But I think the stars of this palette are the mattes in here because they're so easy to blend and they're so pigmented. Number five is from Morphe again. This is the 35M palette. You guys, take a look at this palette. Now, when you first look at it, you're gonna think, oh my gosh, that's so dark. But what I love about it is not only do you have all these neutral colors down here in this nine pans right here. You across here have those green colors that are not coming across on camera as nice as they truly are. I also get my fill of my purple colors that I love. And then you also have the burgundies and then this deep, dark, rich black, which I really, really love. And I don't know what's happened to Morphe lately, but I do feel like whatever it is, their quality has really stepped up because each of these, as I stick my finger in, they're really, really good. Now there are a couple of metallics that aren't as bright as I expected them to be, but on the whole, this whole entire palette just screams fall to me because it has all of the warm fall vibes to it. I just think that this palette, whether you want to just stick with the neutral browns, you want to branch out into the burgundies, the greens, whatever you want to do. It has the khaki greens down here that I think are so pretty. I really do love what they've done with their metallic formula in here. It's really, really pretty. And they're so different. Like this one right here is a deep, deep metallic brown. So, so just love that whole palette. And I think it would just be beautiful to go into fall with. And I think those ones are 24, and of course, they will be thrown up on the screen as always. Number four is from LA Girl. This is their hot, H-A-U-T-E, heat palettes. And this one is Vacay Every Day. Okay, the first thing that I love about these palettes is their heavy packaging. I think this packaging is awesome. It has a great presentation to it, stays clean, which I love about it. And so many of those other palettes, they don't stay clean. Huge mirror, the same size as this pan, these pans are right here, huge mirror in here. And it's a great mirror too, no distortion whatsoever. But look at this, this fills all of my burgundy fall kind of needs. And I just think this is incredible incredibly beautiful. You do get some lighter colors in here, which I love that they gave you that lighter transition color right there because so many palettes aren't doing that right now. And I don't know why you almost need that transition color. If you got your look to be too dark to kind of go up into the, into that brow bone and lighten it up. But these colors, the metallics are, you put your finger in here and the metallics are honestly, they're so buttery that I can't even begin to I can't even begin to describe how buttery they, buttery they are, buttery they are, but the mattes are every bit as buttery as well. You do get a little bit of kick up and fall out from these simply because they are so soft to work with. But I'm telling you, if you guys can't afford to go out and get an Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, this palette is nice. And I have the other one, the 
I can't remember what it is called. I'll make sure I throw it up on the screen. I have the other one as well, and I've told you guys about these before, but this is the perfect fall palette because you can go into any of these combos and get a look out of it, and I just think this is so beautiful, and I love working with these because honestly, they are that creamy and buttery, and they blend together so seamlessly. That palette to me at its price is a must for anybody that's wanting a new fall palette. Coming in at number three is the Nubian 2 from Juvia's Place. We yeah. had the Nubian 3 that was the coral one. Now this one is nothing like that one. <laughs> it has so many colors across the gamut, but you guys, these colors, they can all be looked at as fall colors because not only do you see all these colors in nature, but you also get all of the really great neutrals in here. Like you do have a cooler toned down brown down here, which I think is so pretty. You also have this cooler metallic. This color right here, that rich, deep, dark chocolate brown, I just, all of them, I just think they're so great. And I always do kind of lean towards the cooler colors anyway, but these colors are so vibrant that it doesn't matter which one you reach for. This one right here was that one that looked black in the pan, which is right up here, but it's not a black. It's like a deepened, darkened, um, grape purple. Let me just grab this coppery one for you and then this gold one for you too so you can see them. They're just, they're ones that I would say that if you wanted to just do a, a wash across your lid and a little bit of brow bone on there, you could do it and pull off a beautiful, gorgeous fall look. I just think it's just absolutely beautiful. The quality of Juvia's Place you can't understand until you swatch them or use them on your eyes. It's almost like using a cream product, but that is so easy to use and so blendable. So that's why I have every single one of their palettes because I know that their quality is going to be up there and it's going to be fantastic. And I really don't don't think you go can go wrong so number three again is the Nubian 2 by Juvia's Place the number two is from Milani this is their pure passion palette this palette hits all the right markers as far as a palette goes for fall and when I say that I mean there are so many beautiful beautiful mattes in here and this formula that they did in these was to me so different than anything they had done before because I really did love their eyeshadows before but once they came out with these little palettes it was like those are special those are really really special and I think that if you ever tried one of them you understand what I mean because it doesn't matter which of the four it was they're really really nice shadows and they're good for being able to blend on mature skin too. You know, my eyelids have a little bit of wrinkles to them. Actually, any of these palettes are that I have picked out for you today. They're, they're really good to be able to blend it and not, you know, tug on the skin that is so loose on our eyelids. I think whether you wanna go burgundy, whether you wanna go with the orange pumpkin-y tones, whether you wanna go into the lighter colors, it doesn't matter what you pick in here, you're gonna be able to hit it all. And I love that they put in this chocolate with a little bit of burgundy in it, this dark color right here so gorgeous you guys it's one of my very favorites to do the outer creases just beautiful and then you have all of the other colors that just complement each other so well it's one of the prettiest palettes I believe has ever come out from Milani I absolutely love it can you guys guess what the number one palette is gonna be I bet you can't because I really haven't talked about it a ton on here but it is the berries and cream palette from Dominique cosmetics I have fallen in love with these palettes, you guys. Um, I got her Celestial Storm one. It's so pretty. The Berries and Cream one, though, this one to me is the one that looks like fall to me because it does have those deep, rich reds. It does have the browns. But at the same time, you can get into the blue here if you want to and mix it up. You can go with a completely neutral look here. This taupe right down here is one of the prettiest cool tone transition colors I've ever seen. It's so gorgeous. But you also have all of the other colors that are so vibrant and so rich. And this black, it's super saturated black. I'm gonna swatch as many of these mattes as I possibly can for you guys because the mattes I think are the ones in this palette that are really the, the showstoppers. They are just so rich and they're so saturated and they just, a little tiny bit goes a long way. And then there really only is four metallics in here 
but these metallics they go so good together with all of the other colors that are in the palette they just are so complimentary and there is a couple of duochromes in there that one that i just swapped swiped across swapped swiped across there is a duochrome i do love this palette and the way that it performs and i find myself reaching for this over and over again now i do love purples and i love plums and burgundies so that's kind of probably the reason why but at the same time this just is so easy to work with and i'm never disappointed with any look that comes out of this palette I just I look at it and I feel inspired immediately I wanted it to be my number one pick because I just felt like the quality is truly there and that Dominique cosmetics really is doing a very good job I know that a lot of times we get into like Urban Decay and Tarte and all of those around this time when they're putting out all their holiday holiday sets but I think looking back on some of these that have already been released can really give us some great ideas too and especially if we already have them in our makeup arsenal then you know you can put together different combos and look at different things and you can rediscover your old palettes which I think is a lot of fun too so I hope that you guys did enjoy seeing my top 10 favorite fall palettes today I love bringing you these kind of videos where I rank top tens. Let me know if you guys are enjoying this kind of video. That's everything for today's video. I hope that you did enjoy it. Please take care of yourselves. I love you so very much. Oh, don't forget to give it a thumbs up on your way out of here. I would really appreciate that too. Everybody have a wonderful day and I'll see you all in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.